What did you want to talk about? Is there something you need to tell me? What's going on? Wait, what? What did you want? You said you really needed to talk. Oh, um, sorry. I'm just trying to figure out where to begin. Hello, sir. It's a pleasure to meet you. It's Peter, right? Yes, sir. Well, I'm Officer Hobbs. I'll be the one yelling at you when you mess up. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, okay. Let me give you the grand tour. So you got your computer, uh, file cabinet, got your desk, and right here's your throne. Might as well get comfy. You'll be here for a while. All right, then. Good luck, kid. It wasn't that bad. Um, I just kind of did first day stuff. So uh, I took a tour of the office. I met my supervisor, and uh, his name's Officer Hobbs. And so he seems like a really nice guy, but I think he can lay the law down uh, if I ever mess up. Okay, so like, when are you going to be doing police work, anything like that? I'm not sure that I'm going to be able to do any uh, like police work. I think I may just be like the office kid, where I um, push papers around, Input data into the computer, um, coffee runs, so... Coffee and donut runs, are you serious? Right, exactly, so I don't know, we'll see. Well, I guess you gotta work your way up from somewhere. One day like, you'll be wearing the badge and giving your paperwork to some dumb kid. Uh, yeah, I, I guess so, so... Side of your shoes get worn down because you walk with an instep like a little duck and I know you're gonna hate me for noticing that and when you're excited your eyes get so wide your face couldn't possibly hide any emotion you're feeling and how could I not notice those things it's what makes you you and I love that but I think what I like the most about you is that we're both afraid of the future we have no idea what our future might look like but there is one thing I know, that when we're 78 and we go to the bathroom and take out our dentures and we're brushing our, our dentures together and we realize that we're smiling with no teeth and we look ridiculous, that's what I want our future to look like. And so Rebecca May, will you marry me? Oh my gosh, yes. <laughs>
Okay, Peter, I just wanted to hear what you have to say. I don't want to put too much pressure on you. I just, I just want to see what's going on in your head. So what exactly do you remember about that night? Um, I'm not really sure. I saw somebody that I know and I wanted to see if where they were going was safe and if they were going to be okay. Okay, so were you falling by foot or by vehicle? Um, they were on foot and I was in my truck. And this friend, what's her name? I'm not really sure. <laughs> not the good of a friend now, is she? I guess not. But I really don't think it could have been her. Peter, how do you know? I mean, you didn't even know her name. There weren't that many people found at the scene that night. Is this a picture of the girl you followed that night? Yes, ma'am. Is there any way that this girl could have been involved in anything bad? Like maybe like had some issues with her boyfriend or was involved with a bad crowd? I mean, I guess it's possible. But, officer, can I ask you something? Do you really think it was her? That's the way it's looking right now. I mean, it's either her or it's you. Um, personally, because we know you and well, we've known you for the past six months, it's pretty good reason for you to not be a major suspect. I mean, unless of course you did it. Of course not. And I guess looking back on it, she has been in and out of the precinct a million times. And I mean, murder is the highest offense. And so I guess if you can lie, cheat and steal, there's no telling what you could do if you were really mad. Hey, um, so what did you want to talk about? Peter, please, please don't lie to me about this. But what's been going on with you? I'm not really sure what you're talking about. It's always work this, work that. I barely see you anymore. You never see your friends. You're missing your classes. Are you even planning on graduating on time? You say that you love me, but I don't feel it. Our relationship has become so dull. It's not that we fight all the time or anything like that. It's that we barely talk anymore. I don't even know who you are. Listen, you obviously have some stuff to figure out. So when you're ready, you can call me. But for now, I'm leaving. Re Rebecca. Oh geez, I'm sorry. Wait a minute, I know you. You're the girl from the police station. You, you were convicted of murder. I testified against you, what are you doing here? They had no evidence against me, so they let me go. What, what do you mean they couldn't find any evidence? I saw you do everything and I told the police everything that you did. I know I was in the police station for the last several months and you did see me, but I took the blame for all those people, all the people who I cared about. They deserve the second chance. Even though they don't deserve it, I wanted to give them that chance. I don't understand. Why would you do something like that? Why would you take the blame for your friends even though it could put you in prison? I know you may not understand, but they deserve it. That's what I'm there for. I'm the person who needs to take the blame for them to have to give them that second chance, which they do not deserve. Oh, no problem, it's good to see you. Uh, you've got to be kidding me. It's really you? What are you doing here? Uh, I'm an officer now with the Beer Falls Police Department, but more importantly, what are you doing here? Well, I had decided to put my questions to use 
and I became a human services director in Beaver Falls. Okay, that's interesting. But uh, yeah, I don't know if we've ever officially been introduced. I'm Peter. I'm Leah. It's going to be nice working with you.